I've cheated a little. I've gone ahead and carved out his hand to hold the gun. And the reason I did that is because it took me about two and a half hours to get it, get it fitted in there properly. Which is, you know, I want, it to, I want it to look good, so that just takes that much time. I'll tell you here in a minute how I did it and show you. Uh, I just put everything together because, uh, you know, every once in a while I like to stop and take a look at things just to see how they're going. And I did that this morning and I said, wow, this is really going to be a nice piece. Especially once we get the detailing on the gun and everything. Everything else is fairly well finished. Still got to work on his hat which uh, I'll show you how we were doing that. I've uh, put his belt buckles, buckles, belt loops in just to show you how they are. They're copper. That's more of that copper sheet I told you I was going to get. Turn him around here. He just looks good from all angles. Back here on the back of him I've uh, put another little copper uh, drop for the uh, back of the vest and one peeking out underneath his guns to uh, indicate that that's what's holding his chaps on and he just this is how he looks from directly front from where the main tag is and he, he just looks great and considering the chaps are going the, the, the fur part of the chaps is going to be uh, white with a lot of uh, highlights and things and the dark brown of the other part of the chaps and the checkered pants although someone said they might not agree with that I, believe me once it's done it's going to look slick I like it okay let's go back over to the carving table One thing I pointed, want to point out here, if you look at the back, take things apart so they don't fall all apart. Oops, there went something. Here's the back of his uh, wrist cuff protector here. These are just going to be snaps. And then I'll do a little bit of decoration on the front, front of these things. What the hell off this pistol? Okay. Don't throw it. Take his arm off here. All right. What I did here, as I told you, I made a larger gun, and you can see the difference. Put this arm back on. Here's the little gun that we made first. Okay. Now I put that in there. It's just lost with this figure. It's just too small. But this other gun, because it, there's so much bulk to it. Let me get that in there. It just shows you how good that thing fits in there. That extra bulk really makes it fit in with this figure. And once I get the other details on that pit rifle, I keep forgetting what my, shot, my Sarge told me in basic training about this is my rifle and this is my gun. So I guess these are rifles, excuse me. Now what was I talking about? Oh yeah, oh and anyway, getting back to the arm. I did most of this in here with a Dremel to, uh, to get it to fit and I, I did that by the same method I used on the hats. I took my graphite pencil and I colored these areas that go through his hand to where I could insert it in there and give it a little twist and by doing that I just gradually work my way down through the hand until it fit just right. So now what I have to do is I have to go ahead and carve the, the details for the hand and the fingers which I'll do right now. On the hat here I've cut the blank there's really not much to the hat uh, because it's flat, we don't have much to do up top here, but we'll go, go ahead and uh, 
you know, put pencil on the bottom of this and get that thing down to where it's as flat as we can get it against that hat. It's a little high over here on this side, but uh, we'll take care of that when we go. All right. I'm trying to zip through this thing because I've been working on this for quite a while. I'm up to, this will be the 21st post, I think. And uh, I got, I, you can see things are piling up on my table here. I got to get to work. Not that I'm not working, but anyway. So, let me find my gloves. I've got so much stuff piled on this table. There's not much to carve in this hand. It's just the same thing as we, we did before. I just take my knife and I put a little cut right there where the uh, fingers join the hand. I guess this new camera's working out pretty good. I haven't heard. Well, I heard one, not a complaint, just a suggestion that uh, because this basswood is so bright, so, uh, not bright, white, it comes out as real bright sometimes in the video. Well, I can't correct that. I've tried, but I just can't correct that. That's just a characteristic of this would if it only seems to occur when uh, when Judy does a pull back to where we get so much light coming in from the outside. So don't have the fancy equipment these movie studios have. To where I can compensate for all these outside problems. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to carve this back finger down a little. And it's just kind of hanging out there, so i got to be real careful. something right there on the back. Alright, then I'll come back and take that sharp edge off. forget which way the grain goes sometimes. Sorry for my mooning over my figure there, but it's going to be a good one. Okay, now with my little gouge here, again, we just go right behind that knuckle. 
probably start with the middle one and then I am the other two up towards the back of it like that and then a nice deep one right here and that makes a pretty good hand keep whittling on it but uh, we'll move on to the hat here looks good like it looks good okay on the hat now I've gone ahead and I dished this out like I said I was going to and uh, we got just the right amount of shadow up here to where the hat goes onto the head. And that, you know, that break really makes it look nice. And the hair disappears up into the hat, which is just what we want. So that part's looking good. Now here's the crown. I've made me a registry mark here on the front and on the bottom. And uh, I've kind of shaped the top of it to the shape, shape that I want. Sorry, just on one, one thing here. I think that's enough to give you an idea. I have to go about doing this. Basically all we're doing was work a Montana Peak is what the highway patrolmen wear, but uh, the cowboys always seem to wear it a little better, I think. Because those highway patrolmen, that thing is sitting so high on their head, it just looks ridiculous. But these cowboys, they knew how to wear that hat. It didn't look like that. So, like I said, we'll, car we'll color the bottom of the uh, hat here. Take my registry mark, which is right there, and put it on there. Do that little wiggle, and right there shows you how much you need to take off. How much time we got? Thirteen. So in the next video, we will have this thing finished. And we can start painting. See how it's how it grows as we go down? That's because more and more of the bottom of that crown is hitting the top of this brim. Just like you have to allow for the thickness to accept the head, you also have to allow for the thickness to accept the brim. There, it grew some more.
Fifteen. Fifteen minutes. Well, we got it on this side. We got just a little bit more to do back here. And then we'll be ready to go. And then all that's left is uh, giving him a hat band around here. And he'll be done. And I'm still debating whether to get him a stampede string up there on, on his hat. I hold his hat down like I did on this one over here. Back on there. So that is one spiffy cowboy. And to show you what's going to be coming up next, I'm not sure we'll do a video on this, but uh, yesterday down at wood carving, uh, our little group that meets downtown sat down there for a couple hours and whittled with the fellas. Anyway, I did this head. And uh, I think what I'm going to do with this, try to anyway, is uh, to do an Indian family. Maybe the male, which this would be, a female, and then a papoose. And uh, make a nice little grouping, and I'll make a nice little entry for a group category and at the show coming up here in September up in Ohio. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And uh, again, thanks for your donations that uh, are coming in. I appreciate that. And uh, until uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'll talk to you later.